in newscast at the same time. This would be Elvis's three favorite programs, but not. Yes. Um, there to your left is Mighty Pythons, in the middle is Muhammad Ali fights, and of course there to your right is the Ed Sullivan Show. And out back... So this was Elvis's den, and it was later named the Jungle Room by fans and the media. Now he recorded in here, didn't he, some of his last albums? Yes, actually his last two albums, um, from Elvis Presley Boulevard in Memphis, Tennessee, and six songs from the album Moody Blue. But it's Elvis's gold record collection which testifies to the true magnitude of his success. These are all of Elvis's gold and platinum records. And in 1984, Graceland was notified by RCA that Elvis had done something no other artist had ever done. He had surpassed the one billionth mark in record sales. And they said if we were to take each record and place them side by side, they would actually encircle the Earth's equator over two and a half times. No aspect of Presley's life has been overlooked at Graceland, including his passion for cars and motorbikes. This is the majority of all of Elvis's cars and his Harley Davidsons. He really loved automobiles, didn't he? Oh yes, he was a big fan of mostly motorcycles and um, golf carts and things like that. He was a big child, as you might say. Also resident in Memphis, the man who discovered Elvis, shaped him, promoted him, and made him the star he became. Sure, I remember Elvis. He had a certain quality about his demeanor and manner that even at that time, and as shy as he was, that was very attractive to me. Sam Phillips became a star maker at his son's studios in Memphis, discovering, recording, and promoting many future big names. I doubt if Elvis or Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, Roy Orbison, the Howlin' Wolf, uh, B.B. Uh, King, uh, maybe many of them would have found somebody, but keep in mind, back in those days, I was the only person in the South that opened up the doors and says, come in black and white, poor and rich. And so uh, that was a big thing back then. I mean, it, it was a big thing. For me, it was a real privilege to listen to Sam Phillips. He was a man who almost single-handedly reshaped the future of pop music, and yet he's retained all of the vision and modesty that led to his success. For whatever it's worth, whatever I contributed, I'm not only glad that Elvis resulted, but every one of the people that I had the privilege of working with. <laughs>